FutureLooks Computex 2011 coverage is brought to you by Kingston's new HyperX plug and play memory kits, NZXT's crafted gaming armor, and Gigabyte's G1 Killer Series gaming motherboards. Uh, welcome back uh, to the Antec booth. Uh, I'm going to show you power supplies quickly. Uh, you know already our HCP series, the High Current Pro. We have it uh, with 750 watt, 850 watt, and the 1200 watt power supply over here. I want to show you now the High Current Pro 1200 watts in action. So what we did actually is we have two systems here with uh, uh, 590 GTX SLI, and uh, both are highly overclocked and uh, running. When you switch to the monitor here with uh, at the moment 1500, uh, it's going up to 1800 watts uh, power consumption. The whole clue about uh, this setup is it's running with one power supply. So you can, you can see the High Current Pro 1200 in the middle, it's connected with both systems. We're running the, uh, the whole setup with only one power supply um, and 1800 watts power consumption with the 1200 watt power supply is uh, a very nice thing. And this, uh, Power supply runs for two days through now already, so uh, you can imagine that um, we have quite nice quality, durability, and uh, this power supply is really one of the best power supplies in the market. So this is our really high-end series, 80 plus gold certified. It's really nice and silent. You have some really cool cable management, and uh, this is our high-end offering for this style uh, for for this time of the year. I want to show you now the High Current Gamer Plus, which is our new upcoming product, uh, which will be available in August around. You know already the High Current Gamer, we uh, introduced it already here on uh, Future Looks um, in the beginning of the year, I guess. And um, now we have the High Current Gamer Plus. So the, as the Plus suggests, the product has some features over the High Current Gamer, the normal version. Um, and I want to introduce uh, these features right now. First of all, we have a very nice um, cable management. We didn't fix too many uh, too many cable harnesses to the power supply this time. So what we have basically is um, two peripheral uh, jacks and uh, four red uh, PCI Express jacks. So basically, the best about this uh, really intelligent cable management is you can, if you have a large storage array, for example, you can take more peripheral connectors and just plug them into the red PCI Express jacks here. So. Uh, if you uh, there are two types of or different types of users uh, if you are uh, having a, a large storage array you need more peripheral connectors if you have uh, uh, many graphics cards you want to use the graphic cards uh, jack so you have more freedom of choice uh, with our uh, uh, selection here of uh, the cable management which is a very nice thing so another addition to this one is um, the fdb fan it's a fluid dynamic bearing. Fluid dynamic is a, a very nice technology and it runs basically, uh, it runs quieter and uh, the, um, the, the lifespan is uh, longer than normal sleeve bearing fans. So we have a very quiet fan in this one installed. And also one thing you cannot see right now, I'm sorry, uh, is the DC-DC conversion inside. So this power supply has DC-DC, which is a uh, very nice for voltage regulation. What you cannot see right now at this sample here is unfortunately um, the wires are still all with colors, so the, uh, the, the version you can buy in the shops in August will be all black wires here, all black wires. So we call it stealth wires because uh, black wires is a very nice thing when you have, for example, a black interior. Uh, then you can hide the cables quite nice because they are just less visible and they are all black. So this is a very nice feature with this product in the future. So the MSRP, we don't have it yet, unfortunately, but it will be around uh, the True Power new products. Okay, let's move over to the Earthwatts, uh, a very nice product for the uh, Northern American market, uh, very well adapted. We have um, just introduced the 750 watts, the new one, the uh, Earthwatts Green. We uh, implemented a 140 millimeter fan and uh, a very nice uh, uh, green color. Uh, the MSRP for that one is um, 10 or 20 US dollar less than uh, the gray version. So you can, uh, the, the, the black version, I mean, sorry. So this is a uh, very nice, this new, it's uh, new technology inside and uh, it's cheaper. So it's um, a very nice product. 
Uh, the same is for the uh, EA650. We introduced it a few months ago, the EA650 Green. So you also have the uh, green color, a new fan inside. So it's also the same price, I think, uh, or cheaper. So we upgraded those. Then uh, a new upgrade to the Earthwatts is uh, to the 500 and the 430 uh, watts. We have now a 120 millimeter fan, which is a very nice addition because before we had uh, the 8 centimeter fan. So now with this one, we have a very nice uh, punched fan grill. Very cool, nice looking, nice and green. And um, that will be it for this uh, Earthwatts update.